So, this is the 3D digital game-based learning environment that I am currently developing to teach German as a second language. I've been developing all of the 3D models inside of Blender, um, which is a free open source content creation suite, and I've been using Unity 3D as the game development platform. So this is what it essentially looks like um, in the platform, uh, which is really nice. And let's actually run it to see what a person sees when playing the game. So I'm now inside the game. This is a, what a person would actually see while walking around. Um, the town that I'm developing is a fictional town in Germany. I'm going to be located in it somewhere between the towns of Bad Kamberg and Walshams Esch inside of Germany. We have some traffic signs here. We have a exit for the city museum. City museum entrance is right there. We have the exit right here. It's a little bit tall, so I'm going to have to build a step in there. Uh, we have a tree, which, uh, as we can see, a tree planter. We have some soil. Uh, let's see if I can get a good view of the tree here. Yeah, all right, there we go. It sort of rocks gently in the German breeze. Of course, the sky is very blue. The sky is always blue in Germany. Um, we have some nice, that's the sun right there, with some nice flair uh, to give it sort of a sense of authenticity. We have the pedestrian zone sign with uh, some signage indicating that it's also, uh, at certain times, deliveries in vehicles are acceptable. Uh, the back, the end of the pedestrian zone, and some graffiti tagging. Uh, walking over here to the city museum. There's the, the entrance right here with the information about the times in which the City Museum will be open. It uh, has longer hours in the summer. The uh, street lamp. I uh, have to fix a few things on the textures there. You notice right here at the top it's sort of transparent. We'll get rid of that in the game. And a uh, sign for the city. Uh, this image I grabbed off the internet is uh, of a town in Neumarkt, I believe, in Germany. Uh, it's a sort of a placeholder. Eventually, as the game is developed, um, I will want to have a map of the pedestrian zone as the player would encounter it in the game. So, um, one thing I like is this. Uh, it's really uh, gives students a chance to go abroad, in a way, without ever even leaving the confines of their of uh, their dorm room. So um, having to develop a lot of visual schemata, knowing how signs work, we'd be able to read signs, um, and hopefully playing the game, becoming aware of these signs, uh, they function in a 3D representation of a real German space, uh, they'll actually be able to transfer these mental schemata to a real world uh, space. So anyway, just a quick update uh, of the Digibon project and where I'm currently standing. I'll just go over here now and end the game and get out of Camtasia.